वेलकम टू चिके मोजो इन दिस डिस्नेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन डिस्नेट एग्जामिनेशन दिस क्वेश्चन आर स्ट्रेट पिकड अप फ्रॉम प्रीवियस ईयर डिस्नेट पेपर्स और राइट लेट गेट स्टार्टेड विद द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑन डिस्नेट क्वेश्चन वन अ क्यूबॉइड ऑफ डायमेंशन एट सेंटीमीटर इंटू सिक्स सेंटीमीटर इंटू फाइव सेंटीमीटर इज पेंटेड रेड ऑन द पेयर ऑफ अपोजिट सर्फेस ऑफ डिमेंशन एट सेंटीमीटर इंटू सिक्स सेंटीमीटर Remaining two surfaces of dimensions eight centimeter into five centimeter are painted black, and two surfaces of dimension six centimeter into five centimeter are painted with blue color. Now the block is divided among the smaller cubes of dimensions one centimeter into one centimeter into one centimeter. In how many of the small cubes all three colors appear? So basically, what we'll do is we'll draw a cuboid first. All right. So this is what a cuboid looks like. All right, you can see over here. Okay, so uh, let's suppose this is the eight centimeter side, this is the six centimeter side, and this is the five centimeter size. All right, all right. According to the dimensions given of the cuboid. Now, what they have said is, red is painted on the pair of opposite dimensions eight centimeter into six centimeter. So basically, red is painted on this. Front dimension, right? This one. So red is painted over here, and on this back one. All right. Further, and the two surfaces of dimension six centimeter, uh, remaining two surfaces of dimensions eight centimeter, five centimeter are painted black. All right. So basically, eight centimeter into five means this is eight, and this is five. So this upper and this lower one is painted black. All right, over here. All right, just try to imagine what we are doing, and the rest are painted blue. All right, eight in six into five, you can see. So this one is blue. So here, this one would also be blue. So what they ask is now the block is divided among the smaller cubes of dimension one into one into one. In how many of the small cubes all three colors appear? So basically, this is pretty easy. Only the cubes that appear at the corner. All right. Will have all three colors. You can observe from over here only. Only the cubes appearing at the corner, because it will have this color also, the back one also, and this one also, right? So only the ones appearing at the corner will have all three colors. All right. And how many such cubes are there? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fourth option is the right choice. So another test previous question. Let us pick your RST. It stands for One of one, two, three, four, five, but not necessarily in the order. P is odd, Q is neither four nor five, R is one, S is either four or five, T is neither two, three nor four. The correct order of digits according to the order of English alphabets is. So first of all, we'll figure out P Q R S T. All right, according to the conditions, what they have given first is P is odd. So out of this range of numbers, I'll write it down over here. Only one, three, and five are odd. All right. Now next, Q is neither four nor five, so Q can only be one, two, or three. Right. Next, R is one. Since R is one, P and Q cannot be one. S is either four or five, so four or five comes over here. Right. T is neither two, three, or four. So since it is neither two, three, or four, it can only be one or five. All right. Now in the last one. T can be one or five, but we already know that R is one, so T cannot be one and T is five. Since T is five, S cannot be five, so this is eliminated and S is four. R is one already. All right. Now here five is eliminated, right? Because five is already taken by T, so P is three. Since three is taken by five, uh, by P, we can eliminate this three for Q, and The value of Q is two, right? So what is the correct order of the digits? It will be three, two, one, four, five. All right, which is option number four. Let us have a look at question three. There are five friends: F one, F two, F three, F four, and F five. F one and F four are unmarried ladies and do not take part in any game. None of the ladies play chess or tennis. There is a, a, a there is a married couple in which F five is the husband. Out of the five friends, one is a tennis player and one is a chess player. F two is the brother of F three and is neither a chess nor badminton player. Who is the chess player? All right. So basically, we have 
gender we have sport and we have married or not married all right there's f1 f2 f3 f4 and f5 all right now we'll mark it according to the conditions so f1 and f4 are unmarried so f1 and f4 are unmarried all right just create a very good table and you'll be able to sail through this question easily this is an actual test 2017 question so it's of very good quality and accurate quality and such questions are often repeated in tests further it has been given that and do not take part in any game so even in sports sector it would be no all right so we have crossed it for a no further none of the ladies play chess or tennis there is a married couple in which f is the husband f5 is the husband since f5 is a husband this is a male right and there is one married couple we do not know who this f5 is married to out of the five friends one is a tennis player and one is a chess player okay f2 is the brother of f3 so f2 is the brother of f3 we do not know the gender of f3 and is neither a chess nor a badminton player all right so now we know quite a lot of information all right f1 and f4 we had given are unmarried ladies so female and female now since this f5 is married to someone and there is only one place left this would be female and this f5 would be married to f1 uh, sorry f3 all right because this is unmarried this is unmarried okay f2 is the brother of this f3 hence only remaining is this f3 should be married to f5 all right this is sorted now this information was given that f2 is the brother of f3 and is neither a chess nor a badminton player hence he should be a tennis player all right also it was given that none of the ladies play chess or tennis so this female plays badminton and hence f5 plays chess and we have been asked who is the chess player the correct answer is f5 option 1 so complete the series the next question is this all right we have to find out which number comes over here 7 to 10 difference is 3 10 to 19 difference is 9 19 to 46 difference is 27 46 to 127 difference is 81 so you can see this is 3 to the power 1 3 to the power 2 3 to the power 3 3 to the power 4 hence here it should be 3 to the power 5 3 to the power 5 is 243 243 and 127 adds up to 370 hence the next number should be option 4 which is 370 all right so what about this one if you are good with numbers you will be able to judge the series very easily all right so 2 corresponds to 1 cube plus 1 10 corresponds to 2 cube plus 2 30 corresponds to 3 cube that is 27 plus 3 hence this should be 4 cube plus 4 right because 130 is 5 cube plus 5 right so what is this this would be 64 plus 4 which is 68 hence our correct answer is option number 2 68 let's have the next one which is based on alphabets now so basically this is another taste 2017 question this is actual question that came in examination so what do we have over here we have a d e i j k all right and we have to find the next one so basically if you have got time in the examination the best way to do is write down the alphabets n o p q r s t u v w all right just keep it till there i don't think so it should exit this so first i'll change the ink wave a is chosen all right and they have eliminated next two alphabets and then gone for de right next they have chosen i j k that is they have eliminated next three alphabets and chosen next three right similarly we should eliminate next four l m n o and choose the next word that is pqrs hence the correct answer over here is option two that is pqrs there's a clear pattern that you should be able to follow once you write this series down 
नेक्स्ट अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द एवरेज ऑफ फोर सेवन प्राइम नंबर्स और राइट दिस इज कंटिन्यूसली आस्किंग सच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच आर बेस्ड ऑन मोड मीन स्टेटिस्टिक्स प्राइम नंबर्स एवरेजेस एंड ऑल दैट स्टॉप दिस केम इन दिस टू अगेन स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड देर इज नो कंसेप्ट ओवर यूर यू हैव टू जस्ट एड एंड फाइंड आउट द एवरेज एज सिंपल इज दैट टू प्लस थ्री प्लस प्लस फाइव प्लस सेवन प्लस लेवन प्लस थर्टीन प्लस सेवनटीन दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूट द सेवन प्राइम नंबर्स डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन सो दिस कम्स आउट टू बी फिफ्टी एट बाय सेवन विच अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इज एट पॉइंट थ्री विच इज एट पॉइंट टू एट द मोस्ट क्लोजेस्ट चॉइस ओवर यू ऑप्शन थ्री इज द करेक्ट चॉइस राइट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स स्टूडेंट्स विल मेक मिस्टेक वेन दे डो नॉट नो दैट टू इज ऑल्सो अ प्राइम नंबर एंड दे विल एंड अप मेकिंग अ मिस्टेक ओवर यू क्वेश्चन सेवन Like a notice is a right angle triangle and observes that one acute angle is half the size of the other one. In this case, the smallest angle would be. So basically, a right angle triangle means like this, all right. And it says this this is x by two x. If you are good with numbers, you will straight away identify this. This is a thirty, sixty, ninety triangle, all right. So the correct answer is option A, which is thirty degree. If you are not good. Still, ninety plus x plus x by two sum of all angles in a triangle is one eighty, and you can easily find out x plus x by two that is three x by two is equals to ninety. Three ones are three thirty zero. X is equals to sixty since x is sixty. X by two is thirty, and there was the smaller one. Hence, thirty degrees the correct choice. But I guess everyone knows that sum of all angles in a triangle is one uh, eighty. and they know that there is this uh, specific rule with respect to 30 60 90 degree triangle let's have a look at the next question which is again from tis previous paper and this is based on profit and loss anand sells a laptop on discount of 8% on the mark price and still makes a profit of 25% how much did the laptop cost him if the mark price is rupees 40000 so basically here mark price is equals to rupees 40000 correct so mark price into the discount how much is the discount 8% so 0.92 this will be your selling price and after multiplying this comes out to be 36800 right now after selling this for this price he has still made a profit of 25% that is 36800 minus x which is the cost price so we have assumed the cost price as x upon x into 100 is equals to 25 right which is the percentage right so when you solve this you will get the value of x as 29440 all right that is the correct choice you have to just solve this equation and you will get the value of x that is the cost price as option 3 that is 29440 that's all in this video i hope this was a very informative and helpful session for you guys please visit us at gkmojo.com Thank you